Are you looking for a house in Prince Edward Island in the 200 thousand, three hundred thousand range, or maybe even less. Yes, you can still buy a house in PEI for under three hundred thousand dollars, maybe even under two hundred. But good luck getting your contract accepted, because here's what's happening. On one side we have a seller's market. So we have a seller that's looking for a super clean offer. Super clean offer would be an offer with no conditions. On the other hand, we typically have first-time home buyers or people entering the market for the first time or looking for an entry-level home. That's why they're in the ones to threes, and that's why they're bidding on these houses. The challenge comes in is because the seller is looking for a nice, clean offer. They do not want to see the normal conditions being financing, home inspection, insurance inspection, fuel tank inspection, septic inspection, condition to sell a house, and a number of other things. So on the purchaser's side, since they're kind of nervous, and rightfully so, they don't want to write an offer where they're not protected. The biggest condition these days and always has been is the home inspection. Albeit, it's not mandatory by law and it's typically not a requirement. In fact, I've never seen it as a requirement of a mortgage here in PEI. It is becoming a requirement in some provinces and states. So a home inspection to the seller is a horrible thing because that home inspector is going to come along and they're going to find out everything. Even in a brand new house, they're going to have a list of items to be fixed. So the sellers are looking for a non-conditional offer. Other conditions typically aren't a huge issue, but the home inspection almost always is. In my case, I've been paying when I list a house to get a home inspection done preemptively, which has been great because we're getting money more clean offers. However, in a lot of cases, like the house I looked at today, I recommend a home inspection be done. However, what we're not going to do is we're not going to put it in the offer. We're going to slide the home inspection in there today between showings. If you're willing to spend that money, it might give you a little peace of mind. So we're not doing a full home inspection in this case, we're just doing a quick run through. The other thing you can do, some home inspectors have offered to do, for instance John Levy has offered to come along with you on the showings and do a quick run through at that point to make you feel a little bit better about the house that you're buying. I highly recommend you use a certified or a legitimate home inspector. You don't use your cousin, uncle, friend, because the home inspectors go through typically hundreds if not thousands of houses and they know what to look for quickly, particularly in PEI, which would be different than looking at a house in Ontario, BC, or Florida. Have a great day. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the buying process or home inspections or anything else PEI related, put them in the comments below. Give us a nice thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and press the little bell symbol beside it. Cheers for now.